morning and welcome to day two of vlogmas i haven't explained this yet but i'm doing 12 days of vlogmas leading up to christmas obviously so basically a video every other day i just can't do a video every single day so welcome to today's video i'm going to be doing a work from home day in the life so I, you just saw my like little morning routine i made the bed i made myself coffee worked a little bit checked my email and then me and Zach took Daisy out. Zach is my fiance, by the way. And yeah, and now we are here and I'm back at my desk with my coffee and I'm just gonna start getting to work. I did a video like this over a year ago, honestly, maybe two years ago at this point, um, where I did a work from home day in the life, but that was when I worked, lived with my mom. So my routine is a lot different now. I'm gonna work for a few hours because I have quite a few things that I need to get done. And then I will see you guys at my lunch break. Realized. Our advent calendar ah. starts today, but it's already in the first slot, yeah, so yeah. just put it, take it out, put it back in. Yay! It's in there. Okay, so I'm officially taking a break to eat some lunch. It is honestly pretty late already. It's 1:12, and I haven't had anything besides my coffee this morning. So it is time to eat. I don't know what I'm gonna be making, honestly. Lately, I've been putting way more of a focus on protein. I'm gonna try to find something that's high in protein. Um, that's why I drank the super coffee creamer earlier with my coffee, because there's a gram of protein in each serving. But I don't really like how it tastes too much, which is why I added the skinny uh, gingerbread latte syrup, because otherwise it's like almost unbearable because there's like a weird aftertaste and like texture to it. Um, but anyway. I try, I'm trying my best to get my protein in. I will probably end up having a tuna sandwich because there's a ton of protein in tuna and it's easy and then maybe an apple, I don't know, but let's make lunch. Finished making my lunch. Now I know it doesn't look like the most appetizing thing, but it's a tuna sandwich with some truffle hot sauce on top and then a side of apple slices. Um, but I know it's not super appetizing, but it's high in protein and low in calories so that's what we're eating for lunch today and then i have a water at my desk and i think i'm just gonna eat this and watch some youtube and it's right now it's 1 31. 
I don't know if anyone else is like this, but feel the need to watch everything in my subscription box. So I add everything new to my watch later so I don't like lose it or like fall behind. So right now on my watch later, I have 258 videos. So all the videos I'm watching right now are from like around Halloween time, which honestly is a little bit sad because by the time I get to Vlogmas stuff, it'll probably be like January. So I've been like binging a lot of my YouTube videos and in my watch later so that I can eventually catch up. But at a certain point, this happens every year, at a certain point, I just kind of give up and start watching the Vlogmas videos. And then I'm like, oh, I'll go back to the other ones like after Christmas is over. And then I don't want to watch a video from Halloween in January. I'm gonna watch a few videos and then I will probably end up skipping to Vlogmas Day 1. Everyone posted their Vlogmas Day 1s today. It's December 1st. I don't know if I've said that, but it's officially December 1st, so it's the first day of Vlogmas, but I already posted my Thanksgiving prep video for Vlogmas, Vlogmas Day 1, so this will be Day 2, um, and this will probably be posted on Saturday. I'm gonna eat my lunch, and then I'll be back. It's been a minute since I last checked in. It's 3.54, I have like an hour left of work. The sun is starting to set, which is why I had to turn my light on. Um, but I just wanted to say, if you work in business or like finance or like use Excel spreadsheets a lot, um, just make the pivot table. Don't, things man don't do things manually. Just make the pivot table because I just made a pivot table rather than doing something that usually takes me an hour to do manually and uh, it took three seconds. So this is a PSA. Uh, just make the pivot table. And if you don't know how to make them, uh, look it up on YouTube because it will save you hours. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to finish working and I'll see you guys when it's time to go to the gym. It is officially nighttime. It's dark out. And I just finished my work for today. It's already 5.30. I worked like 30 minutes past what I normally do. Just because I'm off tomorrow and I have a lot I wanted to get done today. So now I'm done and it's officially my weekend. It's time to get ready to go to the gym. I always say that once my laptop is put inside my backpack and slid underneath my bed, we get this officially here because I just put everything away. My backpack is under my bed. So. So I'm back from the gym and I had a package waiting for me. My Christmas book of this season, One Day in December. It's honestly pretty thick. Here, I'll tell you what books I read last year. <sighs> okay, last year I read An Heirloom Christmas, A Magical New York Christmas, and The White Christmas Inn. So like put together, that was like probably 600 to 700-ish pages. Um, but seeing one book be like 350, um, I don't know. I don't know why that's more intimidating than like three separate books adding up to like double. But anyway, one day in December and I got good reviews. It was like the best Christmas book that I could find because some of them are like super cheesy and predictable. And this one had the best reviews. It was still like under four stars, which I thought was funny, which was like a little weird. Um, but I got it in today and it's part of Reese's Book Club. 
which I'm like 99% sure is Reese Witherspoon, which makes me even more excited to read this book. So it's called One Day in December and we are one day in December because today's December 1st. So I'm thinking I'll try to make an effort in every video to sit down and read some of this book. And no, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, um, but yeah, I thought that would be like a cute little thing to do every Vlogmas episode that we're doing. So I'm gonna try to read it in between now and Christmas. Speaking of goals, for my Goodreads, I had 20 books as my goal. And then the year before I had 12 books and I didn't even hit 12 books. I think I hit like seven or eight. And then this year I was like, let's just up it to 20, even though I didn't even meet my goal from last year. And I got engaged last December. So 2022 has been so, so busy because I also moved out of my mom's house. So like, I, I, it's been a very busy year. So I don't know why I thought I would have more time to read this year than I, the last year. But yeah, I've only read like seven books this year, which is not a lot. So I, I don't know what I was thinking by putting 20 as my goal. I think I'm still gonna put 20 as my goal for next year just to see if I can do it. Cause in the new year, I usually have a lot of momentum with like reading and then it goes away for the spring and then it comes back in the summer. I'm like a big beach reader. So, and then it goes away and then it comes back in the Christmas time era. So if I can read seven books, in each like spurt of like reading that'll be good but anyway very excited to read this but now i'm going to cook dinner okay so we don't really have that much in the house so it's gonna be a pretty basic dinner but i'm making parmesan chicken breasts and some bow ties and top it with some marinara sauce so originally the recipe is like air fryer chicken parm um but we don't have mozzarella so it's literally just gonna be like chicken parm breast and then with bow ties and obviously the marinara so yeah it's not gonna be super interesting we really need to go food shopping um so that'll be something we do probably this coming tuesday but right now it's thursday so we're trying to make do this weekend Okay, so I didn't want to like do stuff with the raw meat on camera just because that's kind of gross, but the chicken is in the air fryer and I'm boiling water for the pasta. And now I'm going to do some of these dishes. There's quite a lot of them. I'm going to do some dishes. I'm also going to heat up some broccoli and just because it's like a good way to like toss in a vegetable, um, just pop that in the microwave and then put it in our food. It's finished. Dinner's done. Nothing extravagant or interesting, but we got our protein, we have our vegetables, we have our carbs. That's all I've asked for. Okay, well, it is the end of the night and I did my full night routine. I showered, I brushed my teeth, all of that. And now it is time to settle in for the night. I'm going to read some of this book before I go to bed. Um, I think that's like a new tradition I want to do is like, or not tradition, but like part of my new night routine. I want to try to like read before bed instead of be on my phone. We'll see how that works out, but I'm going to read some of my book before I go to bed. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching my work from home day in the life. Um, I know it wasn't like too Christmassy or Vlogmas inspired, but I tried to, you know, get some Christmas lights and my tree in there. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and stick around for Vlogmas day three. Bye.